All right, so long time no see. It's the old server again. Uh, what I'm about to do is take the fans out of this thing and put new fans in that are really quiet. Um, theoretically, I haven't heard them yet, but so I just wanted to capture a video of the before to kind of get an idea of what it sounds like so that once I finish this I'll have a reference video all right what's in here there we go there's the beast so these fans power off system before removing cooling shroud um, Wow, so that's pretty easy. You just you just pull them out. Um, so the tricky thing with this is going to be uh, reconfiguring this proprietary connector for these aftermarket fans. So the enclosure will fit any 60 millimeter fan, I guess. Um, and so I'm just going to need to kind of do some soldering and uh, redo these connectors so I'm just gonna take all these out all right so I just got done swapping all the fans, and this thing is actually freakishly quiet now. I mean, it was really loud when I opened it, so for the last, like, hour, I've heard it in, like, freak mode, because when you open the chassis, it goes into, like, full fan, full, you know, full alert. But earlier, the heater was on, and actually, when that was on, I couldn't hear the server at all. Um, so now the loudest fan inside is the power supply fan, which I guess I can also replace, but, um, to be honest, this is, this thing is quiet now. Um, so, mission accomplished. Um, if we go in here, and take a look at the, uh, management console for ESXi, you can see now that all the fans are operating and they're all running below 5000 rpm uh, earlier when i was doing the installation when i realized that i could do a hot swap meaning i could just install them without turning the machine off so i just plucked them out one at a time um, here's a screenshot that i took um, you'll see that you know there was some errors and alerts and at one point, I, after looking at the schematics for the fan and the original fan um, and some blog posts out there, it seemed like I'd have to swap uh, two of the wires. So the, uh, this is the original connector on the fan, the new fans that I got. And you'll notice that it's black, red, yellow, and blue which is the same as the original fans, but after looking at the schematics, it seemed like the red, sorry, the blue and the yellow were switched, meaning one of them was for um, sensing and one of them was for, I can't remember exactly what the terms were, but it's PWM and then there's another one that, that basically gives the RPM of the fan. And so I had them switched because I was a little confused. I drew it out here, um, but in reality, you just connect them directly. So red to red, black to black, uh, blue to blue, and yellow to yellow. And so the first fan I did was reading zero RPM, even though it was on. So I had to pull it out, tear off the uh, the heat shrink, and uh, resolder it. So, but yeah, now I have these four Pratt and Whitney. 50,000 pounds of thrust aircraft engines that I can use for, you know, building an airplane. Um, 
but yeah, everything went well. I used a soldering iron. I used this little thing here to help me, um, you know, keep everything in place while I was soldering. Um, I've got some solder here. And then of course, heat shrink tubing. I got this on Amazon. It was only a few bucks for all this, but I only needed the smallest ones. Um, and that was, you know, just to make sure that everything was, was nice and professionally done so there wouldn't be any shorting once they were installed in the server. But yeah, so uh, the original fans are a lot thicker. The new ones are thinner, but they fit into the hot swap rails perfectly fine. Um, lots of guides online about how to do it. So definitely recommend... Um, I definitely recommend swapping out your Power Edge fans if you're using it in like a home lab environment because um, now I can't hear it. <laughs> I got I got the door open here and you know there's some guy mowing the lawn pretty far away. Um, that's all I can hear. Can't hear the server at all. It's totally silent which is great. So now on to uh, the next task, learning about managed switches and VLANs.